makeup remover products. So I have with me two uh, makeup remover that I really really love a lot. This is the only two products that I always restock whenever I run out of it. First one, this is from Maybelline New York. It's Eye Plus Lip Makeup Remover. And this is supposed to remove all of my waterproof makeup. This one really like removes so quickly. All you have to do is just shake them and then you can just remove them within like 10 seconds. But usually I just leave it on for like 5 seconds and then I just um, rub it away and then it's gone. This is so good. I finished two bottles already. This is my third bottle. And then for my normal makeup, usually I go with just regular makeup remover. And this one, I think a lot of people might recognize this. It's the Bioderma Micellar Water Makeup Remover. This one is so good in removing your makeup. Just normal makeup, yeah. But if it's waterproof, then um, I suggest you get an oil cleanser or just oil-based makeup remover to remove the mascara. Oh, and also this thing, right? This one, it doesn't sting my eyes as well. You know, after removing, right, some makeup remover, after removing, you can still feel like there's makeup on your skin. Like there's still makeup. After removing with this, your skin feels as if like you have already cleansed your skin. And it feels so fresh. It's like you can, you can just put on your skincare right after you use this. And afterwards, my skin just feels so nice. And it just feels so clean and like refreshed. This is 500ml. And usually I use like 4 cotton pads to 5 with this. So right, for my cotton pad, I would always like buy this kind of cotton pad. This part is already like iron up. You see, this part is like quite iron up. Then here, it's a bit puffy. I would always use buy this kind of cotton pad because it's easier to wipe as well. Whereas compared to those um, cheaper cotton pads where it doesn't have this like iron part. I don't know if you can tell. The reason why I say it's um, a lot better is because the cheaper ones, I use it before and then when I try to remove my makeup, right, the cotton pad will just tear and I have to use a lot of it. So yeah, I feel that this kind of cotton pad is more useful. So what I do is I will get one cotton pad and then I will shake my makeup remover. Usually I will shake until it's even like that. I will just um, drip it onto the cotton pad. Once I wet the cotton pad, okay, and then I'm just gonna leave it on for about five seconds. One thousand, two thousand. See how much it removes. It removes this much within like five seconds. Okay, maybe give it a ten. Second time I used to remove and it's gone completely. So I only remove it with one cotton pad. Oh
book but then I decided to view it again and I realized that from reading you can actually learn a lot of things and it makes you become more like creative in a sense whenever I think of like new content ideas I would always like read because it allows me to learn like new information I feel that reading is so important I used to be a person that doesn't read at all and then ever since um, recently I decided to no actually this year I decided to read like self-help books and it changed my mind within a year I think I finished like four books already and to me it's a very big thing because I used to not be able to finish one book in a year like I was just either read the book halfway and I just leave it there or I just don't read at all and this book basically taught me how to manage my emotions um, and understand what emotions are and that why we get angry or why we get so upset about certain things yeah it's so insightful and I really 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 like this book and if you are someone who likes to know more about your emotions or why you act on a certain way or wants to understand yourself even better I feel like this book you can actually give it a try and I feel like every time I get very upset like I will always think about this book and what the book has taught me yeah I really really like this book I'm gonna do a bit of um, journaling yeah I think I'm gonna do a bit of journaling just to write my thoughts down writing out your emotions is very very helpful especially uh, when you are someone who don't really like to talk to people you feel that talking to people doesn't make you feel better I feel that writing journal actually helps and for me, I started to write journal because um, I was feeling really really upset and I realised that talking to someone doesn't really help me so I decided to write my feelings down and it really made me feel so much better yeah, I really recommend for those of you who are struggling but um, didn't want to tell anyone or have trouble talking to someone then maybe you can consider writing a journal and usually I'm not a person who writes journal and ever since I started writing journal and I know how much it has helped me I've written almost like half of the book already so I'm also very surprised that I never expect myself 